Rounds of thunderstorms continue to lash parts of central and eastern Kentucky. I'm tracking them on Defender just ahead. One woman faces charges after leading police on a chase through Harlan County and parts of Virginia in a U-Haul. And officials have released the cause of the Whiskey Row fire in Louisville, the latest coming up. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 430. Good afternoon. Our soggy summer shows no signs of changing. Rounds of showers and thunderstorms continue to hit the bluegrass. Right now, we are seeing several areas that are actually seeing damage because of the storms. We go right to Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Yeah, a complex of thunderstorms uh, developed earlier today across the Campbellsville area around Interstate 65, and then it rolled its way due eastward, and that Puppy putting down a lot of damaging winds. Take a look at our damaging wind reports and notice how they are centered right along that area that uh, had the thunderstorm rolling its way from 65 points east into the Rockcastle County area, Madison County, and then all the way now into sections of West Virginia getting some wind damage reports. That thing was working its way through here at a breakneck pace, and we continue to see that thunderstorm complex across parts of far eastern Kentucky working into West Virginia. Now we focus on the severe weather threat that is ongoing across Columbia into Adair County. You have a severe thunderstorm warning until 4 p.m. Central Time. That's 5 o'clock uh, our time, Eastern Time. How about that? We go into Columbia now. Uh, greatest concentration of showers and storms just to the west of the downtown area. This is a very noisy thunderstorm that is moving in, likely producing some small hail and some high winds. Greater than 50 miles per hour has a ton of lightning with that as well. That'll continue to roll toward the east. And eventually, the path on this will take it into Pulaski County around Nancy by 514, downtown Somerset. 518 as that storm continues to roll its way toward the east. We may see additional warnings pushed a little farther to the east over the next hour and change. Northeastern Kentucky, not a whole lot. Bluegrass region now starting to see some showers and storms that are popping from Paris through northern parts of Fayette County toward Versailles and Lawrenceburg. This action, nothing severe with this, but some locally heavy downpour is certainly a good bet. And uh, these thunderstorms in the northern Fayette County kind of holding pad for the uh, past little bit. And there you go. Again, that's the main storm that we're watching. Guys, that is across Columbia into Adair County. That'll continue to roll its way toward the east. When I come back in a little bit, I'm going to show you an hour by hour forecast that says you get more storms later tonight and tomorrow. Chris, thank you. And we are getting some damage reports from several counties, all because of one cluster of storms. Several trees are reported down on US 127 in Casey County. There's also wind damage to at least one home. WKYT's Garrett Weimer continues our first alert weather team coverage. Garrett, what can you tell us? Well, Amber, I'm here at a home uh, right off US 127 in Casey County. Uh, as you mentioned, on my way, I did see some signs of the strong storm that went through here, some trees down. But here at this home, and you can see it on the picture there, uh, wind knocked over this man's chimney. And let me pan the camera over to the left. You can see now part of his roof, the pitch roof there, was just completely blown off. Uh, what you can't see here is what's on the other side. Uh, of his home, and that's where uh, the roof of his porch was just completely knocked off. All of this, the result uh, of a storm here this afternoon. Uh, the homeowners described seeing just big sheets of rain, and then all of a sudden, a, a strong gust of wind just taking everything here and, and shaking his entire house. He says it's probably a few thousand dollars worth of damage and a lot of work ahead of him. Live in Casey County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Garrett, thank you. And we want you to share your storm pictures and video with us. Just email them to eyewitness at WKYT.com or use the hashtag KYWeather on Twitter. A police chase caught on tape landed two people behind bars last night. That chase involved a box truck and started in Harlan County and ended in Virginia. Caleb No has the latest on the charges the driver faces. I'm told the high speed chase covered more than 40 miles of ground and reached up to 80 miles per hour. Not to mention the man and woman who led law enforcement in the chase were riding in a rented box truck. It started in Harlan Wednesday evening. We're told city police began the pursuit, but when the vehicle crossed into Virginia, the Lee County Sheriff's Office joined in. We're told the chase finally ended in Duffield, Virginia, when state police laid down spike strips. Everyone co cooperated really well. Uh, uh, us, Harlan, uh, Virginia State Police, Town of Panton Gap, Scott County, 
uh, sheriff's office and uh, just by, by the fact of the communication is how we were able to get the spike strips down and get them stopped when we did. Cindy Cartwright and Christopher Bach both face charges in connection with the chase. One of those for Cartwright being attempted murder for allegedly crashing the rented moving truck into a sheriff's cruiser. Sheriff Parsons said the most amazing thing is that nobody was hurt during the chase. And that was Caleb No reporting. Fire investigators have officially ruled Monday's three alarm fire on Risk Whiskey Row in Louisville as accidental. Investigators said the cause was a cutting operation with a torch. Crews were removing sprinkler pipes interconnected with electrical conduit when hot metal smoldering sparked the fire. Investigators said the crews were in the building working an hour before that fire started. Fire crews say there's still a chance that one of the buildings could collapse. Hot spots at the scene have decreased, but safety is still a concern. West Main Street remains closed from 1st Street to 2nd Street. A crime alert this afternoon following a string of overnight robbery attempts. One happened around 4.30 this morning outside Walgreens on Richmond Road. Police say two gunmen jumped out of a car, punched a man, and tried to rob him as he left the store. The men took off without getting anything. Robbers stole tacos from a man in a second robbery. It happened around 1 a.m. on Village Drive. Police say robbers stole the tacos, a shirt, and a wallet from a man behind a liquor store. That victim wasn't hurt. Law enforcement and some doctors in Kentucky are worried that pill mills shut down by legislation years ago are emerging again in the form of Suboxone clinics. A WKYT investigation into Suboxone clinics sent us to Breathitt County. The police chief in Jackson is concerned about the number of patients that line up before the St. John Newman's clinic opens on days he prescribes Suboxone. There have been fights and even a recent shooting in the parking lot. But do you like this happening at your physician's clinic? This is not the clinic. It's outside. We can't help it. It's on your Why property. We, we cannot control what people do. Sam is at the live desk now with our investigative reporter, Miranda Combs, with more on this story that she's working on for tonight at 6. Sam? Amber, thank you. So you went down to a particular clinic on the morning of the day that the doctor was prescribing Suboxone, right? Right, Sam. And first of all, this doctor has never been charged with a crime. He has no disciplinary actions on his medical license. But we showed up about 15 minutes before his office opened, and there were dozens of people out back milling around. And then right when the doors opened, about 29 people filed in immediately. And then there were at least a dozen more after that. And, you know, we talked to federal law enforcement, local law enforcement. We even talked to a doctor with the Kentucky Society of Addiction Medicine, and they said there should never be a line for mm -hmm. any type of clinic, a suboxone clinic. So basically, they say it should be more like a regular doctor's office where there are appointments. Well, we should point out that we believe that the majority of doctors and patients are using suboxone correctly. Absolutely, and doctors, law enforcement will tell you it's a wonderful drug, but they, um, unfortunately, a handful of people are abusing it. But yeah, I talked to one lady who said she OD'd on opiates eight times, and suboxone and Dr. Merced is who saved her life. So it can be a great drug, but unfortunately, we're told a handful of people are abusing it. So we'll talk more about that. Interesting, interesting story. A lot of people talking about it. Up tonight, six. Well, Miranda and the investigative team have put a lot of time into this. We hope you'll watch coming up more on WKYT tonight at six o'clock. Sam, thank you. A coal company plans to sell several coal mines in eastern Kentucky, which would put dozens of miners out of work. More than 100 employees in Harlan and Letcher counties have been told they may soon be laid off. The Herald Leader reports Alpha Natural Resources is considering selling the assets of several mines. All right, stick with us. There's more news to come after the break.